guys welcome back to another video so today's video i am going to go through what i feel is more or less the essential items that you need for starting out to do your nail course or for doing your nails at home so the first thing that you need is obviously your prep tools so these would be the prep tools that i would use So this is my favourite pusher, it's from OPI and it's a double ended pusher. So I like the way the, um, the end of this is actually bent down, especially starting out um, you know, as a new nail technician, you sometimes can feel a little bit uncomfortable when you're working with your client's cuticles and this just sort of acts as like a little guard which I just think is really really good I think sometimes the ones that you know are flat that they can sometimes go in under the cuticle and they can be a little bit painful if you don't know how to use them properly so what I like about this one is not only is it curved but you also have your little tool at the back which enables you to go down the side walls to get out any dead tissue um, and from underneath the nails as well. So this, um, you can order this online. Um, I've saw it online for 11.20, I think. Um, that's just through um, a Google search um, or you can buy it from OPI Direct. I think buying it from OPI Direct though, it will be a little bit more expensive. So this one here basically was just to show you the difference in the two cuticle nippers they are also an essential part of your prep if you have a client that has really really long um, cuticles or you know they've got some hang nails or you know they just need their cuticles tight tidied up you need to have good quality cuticle nippers so you want to look for ones that have got a really really thin um, blade on them and they are going to be more precise so that is the cuticle nippers the next thing would be, obviously, if you do have an e-file, you would be using your e-file bits. And these would be the two that I would use whenever I'm doing a set of nails. So we've got our little flame bit. And then we have the ball bit. So this little flame bit is great because it gets in underneath the cuticle and it can also go down the side walls which is really good. The little ball um, e-file bit is for use on top of the skin so you would go around the cuticle area and take away any of that dead skin that's um, on top of the cuticle. So obviously for using e-file bits you would need an e-file um, but I'm not going to go into that today because I don't think that is an essential thing for starting out. I think that's something that you can progress on to. So the other um, things that I'm going to go through with you would be with your tools. You're obviously going to need to sanitize your tools. And I use Barbicide, which um, is a proven formula and um, it will completely sterilize your tools in 10 minutes. So you can buy yourself a barbicide jar to go with it or it doesn't have to be a barbicide jar this is actually from Ikea and it's a, a tea light holder and it does exactly the same job um, so yeah you would fill so we'll, we'll go to the barbicide jar so you would fill your barbicide up to the first line and then you would fill the rest of it with water and then immerse your tools into that with the double-ended tools, which most cuticle pushers are now, you do need to turn them so that they can um, sterilise the other end. And before you replace them into the barbicide, you need to wash them and cleanse them. And to do that, I would use alcohol. So I use 96% isopropyl alcohol, which I decant into a little spray bottle. This was OPI's um, NAS99. And I just, when it starts to go empty, I just refill it up from this. So moving on, the next sort of tools that you would need would be your files. So these are a selection of different files. 
and whenever I have a new file, I use my file edger, which I love this tool. So this is an OPI file edger and basically what this does is it takes the sharp edges off your file. So if you've ever been in a nail salon or you've had your, you know, you've had your nails done and you see sometimes the um, technician, they will take an old file and get the new file and they would take that old file and they would rub it along the edges of the file. Well, yes, it does, you know, dull the edges so you're not going to cut your client. But essentially what it's done is this old file has contaminated the new file. So by using the little file edger, that sort of eliminates that. So what I will say is I am going to be doing a giveaway and it's some essential items that we need. So I have one of the OPI file edgers. I have one of the double-ended pushers so we have one of those I have my two cuticle bits that I would use for um, my e-file and the selection of files so once I reach 500 subscribers all of this I'm going to give away so to be in with the chance to um, obviously win you need to go onto my Instagram page and you need to follow me on Instagram you also need to be subscribed to my channel and you need to comment why you started doing nails. So that's all you need to do to be in with a chance to win. And once I hit the 500 subscribers, I will um, do the draw on a video. So I'm just going to go through the files. This this file here is brilliant. Um, if you don't have an e-file and um, you need to take off colour or you need to debulk your acrylic really, really quickly, this is great. It's a 100, 180 grit file. It's non-branded. You know, you can buy them anywhere, but I absolutely love them. This one is from Glitter Planet, and this will be my favourite file ever. I absolutely love this file, and they last for ages. They just keep going on and on and on. So, again, it's a 100, 180 grit. Uh, so, you've got your rough edge and you've got your smoother edge. So that would be used for like buffing in your acrylic, for removing color, and the other side would be for, once you've placed your acrylic, you would start to go around the cuticles and just make sure that everything's nice and flush. So if you're not used to using straight files, you can also buy zebra files, and this is a new bar one, and it's a 150, 150 grit file. So do the grits, how the grits work is the lower the grit, so if something is 100 grit, that is going to be more coarse than something that is 200. So the higher the grit, the softer the file is. So a lot of people prefer these ones basically because they are shaped to go around the cuticle area, to go down the side walls. And, you know, especially for starting out, if you're a bit sort of cautious about going around your client's cuticles, this is probably the best file for you to use. So moving on, and these buffers are amazing. Not only do I love the colour, but I love, I absolutely love these. Um, they're from CJP Meal Systems, as you can see, and it's a 100, 180 grit file. So obviously, this side here you can see is a bit more coarse than this one. It's quite a sturdy buffer. I just want to show you the sturdiness of this file while I'm at Like this is really sturdy. I love this. This one probably wouldn't be, you can see that one bending, but this is great. I, I absolutely love it. It's curved for going around the cuticle. It's, you know, for going down the side walls. It's just a great universal buffer. So for those of us that don't use top coats and we prefer to um, bring our nails to high gloss shine just through buffing, um, this is the tool to do it. So you've got your OPI Brilliance. Um, the green side is a buffer, which is an awful lot smoother than this. And then on the white side is your shiner. So it's infused with some oil that will um, bring your nails to high gloss shine without using top coats. So that is the different files. So after you've prepped your nails and you've removed the shine from your nails, you need to cleanse your nails as well. So the 
um, alcohol that you would dip. Um, I would just put onto a lymph-free pad and I would just cleanse over the nails. Sorry about that, my son just came into the room. So yeah, I would um, get a lymph-free pad and spray my alcohol on and then I would wipe around the nails. So the alcohol not only cleanses the nails, but it can dehydrate the nails if you don't have any um, dehydrators. So after you have prepped the nail, you've cleansed the nails, then you need to decide what tips you're going to wear. And my favourite tips for starting out would be the Glitter Bells Square Matte Finish. So these are quite a universal tip. You know, you can do so many shapes with this, um, with these tips. So they're really, really nice and thin. They go from size zero up to size 11. So most tips only go from one to 10. So you do have your extra in between sizes on this. But let me get one of these just to show you. So it has a lovely um, C curve on it. Can you, can you see that there? Let me see. You can see a beautiful C curve on that, which gives you that pinch look. It doesn't have a well area. there's no blending to do it's super super thin and I you could cut it to do whatever shape of nail you want if you want to keep it square for square nails and if you want to these nurse scissors that I have are great I absolutely love these they um, they're so sharp and they cut through basically everything and you know it will make your client have a little bit more confidence when they see a blunt a blunt end so I these would be in my kit um as, a, as an essential so yeah with these square tips if you want to do like a coffin shape you just cut along the side so you can see how much let me pop another light on here Oops, I'm sorry about this that's a bit better isn't it so yeah so you can see that I have cut the side off this one so this is where the number is let me just get this so now I have changed that square tip into a coffin shaped tip or ballerina shape whatever way you want to um, call it so that would be they would definitely be my favorite tips and one that I would say would be an essential starting out because it's so universal and um, you can basically do any shape with it but my second tips that I absolutely love and glitter bells have just started doing them as well is the glitter planets easy tips so they don't come with the box, you have to buy the box separately. So the easy tips are £9 and the box is £6 plus fat. So if you work that out, um, they can be a little bit expensive, but they are, oh, they, they're such, they save so much time, um, you know, in filing, in shaping. They again have that beautiful C curve. You see that there? So again, that's going to give you the pinch look. So these are the Glitter Planet ones. So if you're going to do like a coffin shape, all you need to do is cut off the end. How easy is that? If you want to do square, you can do square. If you want to do stiletto, you just file it in the point in just a little bit more. So let me just grab the glitter bells ones because they are exactly the same exactly the same so these are the glitter bells ones I love the shape of their um, their box and they call them the extreme length tips so glitter planet call them easy tips and um, glitter bells call them extreme length so these are the easy ones I'm just going to grab the same size in the glitter bells they are identical maybe I haven't got the same oh, no I didn't have the same size there we 
There we go. Identical. So, yep. The um, Glitter Bells ones actually work out just that little bit cheaper. So the Glitter Bell ones are $13.49, I believe, with fat, and they come with the box. So they, um, they, would, they do work out better value for money. The only downside to both of these, apart from the square matte finish, you, you can buy the refill sizes in these. So um, you can see here that these would be the sizes that I would run out of. Um, quicker so it's seven and six so I can go on to the glitter bells website and buy the refill sizes of eight seven six but unfortunately with the extreme length tips and the glitter planet tips they don't do the individual sizes so if you run out of your sizes you have to buy the full 500 which is a bit of a pain in the bum but you know if you like the tips I'll show you So these are the Glitter Planet ones, and you can see that I had completely run out of these sizes. So I had to order the whole 500 just to get those sizes. So please, 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 Glitter Planet and Glitter Bells, get refills for your tips. Make our lives an awful lot easier. So now that you've put your tips on, you need to cut your tips. And I use, this is an OPI tip cutter, um, but they come in all different brands and shapes and sizes. But basically, this does so much work for you. Literally, when you're using it, the blade is always facing you so that you don't cut your client. And your tip just fits in there. And cut. How easy was that? But if you don't have tip cutters, you can still go ahead and use your scissors, which will do the same job as well. Definitely, I love these scissors. They, they really are good. So if you see them anywhere, buy them. They're fantastic. Uh, right, so next thing after you've placed your, you've sized up your tips, you're going to need glue to stick them on with. And my favourite glue is CJP Gripper Glue. This is a brush on glue and it's so quick. It literally, once you put the tips on, it will stick within a matter of seconds. So that's what you need. You need something that's gonna stick really, really quickly. So not only can you stick your tips on with this, you can stick your rhinestones on with it, um, any, any decals, anything that you need to physically stick on the nails, this is gonna do the job. I do have the Glitter Bell Space Glue as well, which does the same job, but this takes so much longer to um, to dry. So you're like, you know, sitting around for a bit, just waiting, you know, holding the tip on where this does it in seconds. So definitely that's a good buy. So now that you've got your tips on, you need to go in with your dehydrator and your primer. So this is the Glitter Bells dehydrator and the primer. If you don't have a dehydrator, your alcohol will do exactly the same job, um, which probably could save you some money in, you know, and use it for double use. And your acid free primer. So this, this works absolutely great. From I, um, sw uh, I swapped over to Glitter Bells probably about eight months ago maybe, no, about 10 months ago, I switched over to Glitter Bells and the difference was, oh my goodness, it was just night and day. Um, and this acid-free primer is fantastic. There's virtually no lifting in any of my clients' nails, but a lot of that does come down to nail prep as well. So don't just rely on your primer. Um, you need to really, really prep. Make sure you've got all that dead skin um, and dead cuticle off the nail that you've removed all the shine from your nail and then you can go in with your dehydrator and your primer. So after you have done all that you need to apply your acrylic if you're going to be using acrylics. There are different kits that you can get out there and for me I think the Glitter Bells one is probably the best value. Now I'm not affiliated with any product but um, 
I like value for money and for me glitter bells is the best value out there in terms of the size of their pots the price of their pots and you know they just yeah they just tick every box for me I mean they're let me just get the colour and let me show So this is the Glitter Bells and this is the CJP. Now online at the minute there is only like three pounds of a difference in the price and you literally that extra three pounds is so worth it. That This is only a 10 gram and this is, I think this is, let me see. I think these are 30 grams it doesn't actually say but I do think they're 30 grams I think it's on the website that they're 30 grams so you're basically getting three times the amount so yeah glitter bells is definitely worth the money so with their um, trial kit um, it's 32.84 plus fat and for that you get seven of their little pots So I don't have all seven of them, but basically all their core powders, you get um, one of them. And there is enough to do quite a few sets. You know, it's it. there's even more in this little trial kit than there is in the CJP one that you buy at full price. So you get seven of the pots. You get your dehydrator and your primer. And you also get your monomer. Now it is a small bottle of monomer, but again, there is enough to do maybe 10, 10 sets of nails out of it. And all of that for 32.84 plus fat. So great value. And glitter bells is so easy to work with. It literally just flows. If you've watched my videos, you can see just how easy it goes onto the nail and how you can spread it about the nail. I absolutely love it. So after you've applied your acrylic, um, you're going to be looking for your top coats. So my favourite top coat at the minute is Nail Mate from Glitter Planet. And it's their super gloss top coat. I love the brush. The brush is a rounded brush, which just fits in perfectly around the cuticle area. It's not too long, so you've got full control of the brush. And it's uh, tack free. It's a non-wipe um, top coat. So... 60 seconds in your LED lamp or two minutes in your UV lamp. So that's my favorite at the minute. If you've watched my videos, I do also, I do have the um, Glitter Bells one as well, but I do really, really like this one. And if you've watched my videos, you know that whenever I'm doing nail art, I always like to do them on a matte surface. So this is the non-wipe matte top coat that I use from Halo. It's only 5.99 for eight mils and I love it. It's one of the best matte top coats out there. And if you, you see in my videos, I use it so much. So using the top coat, then you need your lamp. So do you need a UV lamp? Do you need an LED lamp? Well, most of these ones here are all LED. But if you don't have an LED lamp and you have a UV lamp, don't worry about it because a UV lamp will cure all gels. All as long as it has um, 36 watts or more, it will cure all your gels. I use most of my um, my gels are all LED gels. Yeah, LED gel polish. So I have a LED lamp. So this is my lamp. Let me just get some room here for us. So this is my lamp and it's a metal lamp it has a handle for you to carry it about this lamp is so robust I have dropped it and it still works so it is an LED lamp you've got all your different settings you've got 15 seconds 30 seconds 45 seconds and 60 and it automatically starts when your client puts their hand in so you can see it start so it will start on whatever button that was pressed last so if I start it on 45 it'll count down from 45 um I 
I have both. I have a UV and an LED lamp. But for starting out, if you're going to be using um, UV and LED, then I would just go for a UV lamp. And that way you don't have to worry about it not curing your LED gels. But just remember that um, you have to cure them for an extra minute in a UV lamp. So that is sort of my essential items that you would need for doing nails, for starting to do nails. Um, one thing I didn't mention is your acetone. <laughs> yeah, you are definitely going to need acetone whenever you're starting out to do nails. Um, I started doing nails like many, many moons ago. And when I first started, there was more acrylic under the nail than there was on top of the nail. So acetone was my best friend. So definitely, this was just from... Um, Sally's from Sound, Sound Services and you can buy them in bigger bottles than this but um, yeah it's your best friend. So I hope that has helped. Um, I am going to do, once we come out of this lockdown, I am going to do um, a couple of little training sessions. So I'm going to go into showing you how to prep the nails, how to apply your tips and how to um, apply your acrylic and finish as a beginner. So stick with me, um, subscribe to my channel, uh, don't forget about the giveaway. So we've got our e-file bits, we've got our double-ended pusher, our file edger and a selection of files. So I'll see you all in the next video and um, see you soon. Bye. Oh my goodness, guys, I absolutely fo forgot the main thing, and that's your brushes. <laughs> it's only whenever I looked down and I saw, oh, I didn't do the brushes. So yeah, you need to um, have a good quality uh, acrylic brush. So I, um, I have the Glitter Bells size 12. Oh dear, look at this. That's been me rushing to put that away. Um, so it's a pre-pinch brush which means that it's flat and um, the other brush that I have with glitter bells was a round brush and it, it tends to fan out too much but it didn't come with a cap and I believe I truly truly you know think that all acrylic, all acrylic brushes should come with caps it's an essential part excuse me this you had to buy separately any other um, brush that I have bought the cap has always come with it this is the um, glitter planet nail mate bestie brush it comes with a cap my other brushes my brill bird acrylic brush comes with a cap So yeah, I mean, it is essential. It's what keeps your brush in really good condition. This is a little cutie one and it comes with the cap. So this is a size eight brush and this is a size 12. So maybe starting out, you might need um, a smaller brush. Sometimes if I'm doing um, like marbling, I would go, I would use my size eight brush rather than the larger brush, but it's really, you know, it's really up to you what size of brush that you use. So, yep, I forgot about the main thing, guys. Um, so, silly me, but there we go. Hope that has helped you decide what you need if you're going to be doing your nails at home or if you're going to be doing a little nail course. And as I said earlier, um, keep subscribe to my channel. Keep uh, an eye out because once this lockdown is over, I'm going to be doing some online training. And the giveaway so remember you need to subscribe to my channel you need to follow me on Instagram and you need to comment below why you started doing nails and I'll see you all later Bye.